Hello and welcome back to a new video here on my channel. In this first part of a two-part series I will show you how I forged the Damascus steel for a kitchen knife that I forged for Peter from the German YouTuber team called Pete's Meat. So Damascus steel is made out of at least two different types of steel. As you will see in the second video one type of that steel will be etched dark or black and the other type of steel won't be touched by the acid and stays nice and shiny. As you can see, I'm actually using three different types of steel. The third one being one that is not as black and more like a dark gray and this will make the Damascus pattern even more interesting later. So what I'm doing first is I'm cutting up all the pieces, I'm cleaning them up and then I'm stacking them in an alternating pattern so that each dark etching steel is followed by a light etching steel. Once everything is stacked up, I will weld all the pieces together and prepare them for the forge welding process. For the forge welding, the steel is heated up to about 1300 degrees Celsius and then it is first lightly tapped with a hammer to make all the individual pieces stick together and form a new homogeneous piece of steel. Here I'm applying flux to the steel. This will prevent the steel from oxidizing in the forge, especially on the inside of the billet. After that, I'm letting the steel heat up to temperature and then lightly tap these, the pieces together first with a hand hammer and later use my uh, small forging press to help me with that. As you can see my forge is outside, so I'm pretty limited regarding big and heavy machinery. To still get a little help, I built myself this hydraulic forging press out of a 7.5 ton hydraulic lock splitter. And it's got wheels on the back, so I can just take it inside and outside whenever I need it. So what we're doing now is taking the big block of steel that we just forged welded together and draw it out into a flat bar. And this flat bar is then composed of 15 layers of steel in the alternating pattern. And what we'll then do is I will clean up the um, bar and get rid of all the oxides on the surface and then I will cut it up into five pieces and stack them onto each other and this will lead to a new billet of steel composed of about 75 layers. When that is done, you are basically repeating the whole process over again. So we are stacking the pieces together and we're forge welding them and then we're drawing them out. And when that is done, we will do that for a third time. And this will lead to a piece of Damascus composed of about 250 layers of steel. And since you now know the rough process of how Damascus is forged, I will just let you enjoy the footage.
So as you can see, making Damascus is a pretty time-consuming process, but it's also a pretty material-consuming process. The initial billet had about 1050 grams of steel, and when I was finished forging the Damascus, the final piece had about just under 500 grams, so in the end I lost over half of the material during the forging process. And this is first due to oxidization happening in the forge, so the steel oxidizing on the surface and the flakes that you can see that fall off from the hot billet, but second also to, due to the grinding that I have to do, so cleaning up the pieces and cutting off the ends and all of that. So in the end you're left with way less than what you started with. Nevertheless, after two days of forging, here's the final Damascus billet that we can now forge a knife out of. For me, forging the blade will start with forging the tang. And the tang is the part that will later be hidden inside the handle and in the end connect the handle to the blade. You can see that now I'm mainly forging on the anvil and the reason why I'm using this small anvil instead of the big one that stands in the background is because of the noise. The big anvil is really loud and I have neighbors so not to upset them I will use the small anvil because it's way quieter. Next I will forge in the tip and I will do that while the steel is still pretty thick. This makes it easier for me and later when I stretch out the steel with the press and make it thinner again, the tip forms by itself. The last steps of forging the blade are stamping in my logo, then straightening it and then letting it cool down slowly in the oven. This makes it seal soft and easier to work with. So now you've seen how the Damascus was forged and how the blade was made. And in the second part of the video I will show you how I finished the whole knife. And by that I mean grinding the blade, hardening the knife and also of course making a handle for it. If you don't want to miss that, consider subscribing to my channel. And if you liked the video, please also give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions or feedback, feel free to leave me a comment. Also let me know what you think of the voiceover since it's been quite a while since I've tried that for the last time. 
And here it is, forged and profiled, the finished blade ready to be turned into an awesome knife. Thank you so much for watching, have a great day and keep grinding.